Hey guys, welcome to Grammar. All right, so I've got some pretty exciting news for you guys today. You guys are gonna get to skip all your school, all college, and you just get to be doctors. You don't even have to go to school. That's pretty cool. Everybody is a doctor. You get to be a doctor for like the whole week. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so congratulations, you're all doctors. And being a doctor, you're going to get to help Nurse Jessie here. Nurse Jessie needs some help. She's got to do some surgery. And I need some doctor's help to do some contraction surgery. Do you guys know what contractions are? Well, we're about to find out, and you guys are going to help me do some contraction surgery since you're magically doctors now. So let's look at some contractions. All right, so a contraction is a shortened form of two words. So you're gonna take two words and you're gonna kind of make it shorter and it's faster to write and to say. For example, this word here, or these words, is not. I can kind of make them shorter if I do some surgery on them, okay? So is not would turn into isn't. That's faster to say and write, isn't it, than having to say is not, is not, is not. It's a lot faster to say isn't. Yeah. So contractions are pretty good because they make our life a little bit easier. And I bet you guys use contractions all the time and you probably didn't even know they were called contractions. So are you all ready to help me? All right, so it's time for contraction surgery. All right, we have Mr. Has Not. You see him, he's on this gurney. That's what that thing's called, the bed with the wheels that they put you on, it's called a gurney. So he's on the gurney, we're, we're taking him to surgery. And Mr. Has Not, he has a bad O. Yep, he's got a bad O. So we're gonna have to go in, do some surgery, and take out his O, cause it's bad. So we're gonna go in, cut him open and take out that O. But I want you to think, if you have ever had surgery before, or if you've, even if you've um, had a cut before, when the cut gets better, what do you have where the cut used to be? Yeah, you have a scar. So look at Mr. Has Not now. He went into surgery, we went in, we cut out his O because it was bad. Now this is what he's gonna look like now. And if you notice, they've put like a little band-aid there because that's where we cut him. But there's this little thing hanging in the air. Do you guys remember what that's called? Not a comma, good, it's an apostrophe. Apostrophes look like commas, but they're up in the air. And any time that you have to go in and take out a letter, cut out his letter because it was bad, He's gonna have an apostrophe that's kinda like the scar that shows where he had surgery. And the apostrophe's always gonna go where you took the letters out. It wouldn't make any sense if you took his O out, it wouldn't make any sense for him to have a scar all the way over here. You didn't cut him over here, you cut him right there where the O is at. So the, the scar or the apostrophe's got to go right where you took it out. And then Mr. Has Not turns into Mr. Hasn't. Yeah, it's a lot faster than saying has not, has not, hasn't. Yeah, that's faster and it's a little bit shorter to write because you, you're you missing a letter now. So this is what I mean by doing surgery today. We're gonna go in and take out some bad letters to turn them into contractions. So let's look at another one. All right, so we have Mr. Did Not. He's gonna go into surgery. We've got him on the gurney here. We're gonna push him into surgery and do you guys know what Mr. Did, did Not will turn into? What will Did Not turn into? Yeah, remember, he's a lot like Mr. Has Not. We're gonna go right in and take out his O again. When a word has the word not, you're always gonna take out the O. So we take out the O, and what will that turn Mr. Did Not into? Yeah, after surgery, he's gonna be Mr. Didn't. 
Yeah, did not turns into didn't. And see how you put the apostrophe? It's like that scar right where you took the O out after surgery. He'll have that scar forever now because Mr. Did Not turned into Mr. Didn't. Good, good. You all are figuring out your contractions, aren't you? All right, so what about Mr. Do Not? Do you know what Mr. Do Not will turn into? I think you might be right. Let's see. Remember, when you go in and do surgery, what are you going to take out of him because he's got the word not? What comes out of not? Yeah, the O comes out. And then that will turn Mr. Do Not into Mr. Don't. Yeah, Do Not turns into Don't. And remember to put the apostrophe right where you took the O out. Very good. I think you guys are kind of catching on if the word has a not. So I'm going to let you try a couple more. All right, you're going to help me do a couple more. And we're still going to be talking about contractions and doing surgery tomorrow. You all are still going to have to help me do some surgery tomorrow. But we're going to try a couple more on our own and just see if you guys get them right. And then we'll talk about them tomorrow. You don't have to write these down or do anything like that. You're just going to think about it and then you'll be ready for tomorrow, okay? So what about Mr. Have Not? If we go in and do surgery on Mr. Have Not, what will he turn into? What about Mr. Would Not? What do you think Mr. Would Not would turn into? Got to go in and do surgery. Remember what you're going to take out of him. What would Mr. Would Not turn into? And then what about Mr. Cannot? He's a little bit tricky. Be careful of Mr. Cannot. All right, and we're going to talk about these tomorrow. So be ready to continue doing some surgery tomorrow, okay? All right, thank you, doctors.